from St. Thomas the Apostle Catholic Church, and there's 14 of us, and our goal is to get to Poland. Janet, when she came to us about Poland, she was like, we want to go for y'all to be able to experience what it's like to be with a group of people that are all your religion and to be able to pray with them and to be able to experience World Youth Day with all of them. And I want to go to grant her wishes. Well, um, Janet, how she, she had been on, I think four different, she had been to four different World Youth Days. And the way she talked about it, how excited she was and how excited she was about her faith, it made me want to do the same thing. So I want to go and hopefully come back and fill other people with the same zeal that she filled me with. The person who went with us, our like youth group leader, was Janet, and she really had like a, she really had high hopes. We are going to fulfill Janet's um, kind of wishes for us to go uh, to Poland because this was her idea. She was our leader. She was a friend. She was part of our community, and she was part of our family. We want to go to Poland for Janet, pretty much because we loved her. Janet was very small in stature, but she had the biggest heart of anyone you will ever meet. She was involved in every organization in our church, but most of all, her heart was the most involved in all of the youth. She came up to our, my husband and I and told us, we need to go to World Youth Day in Poland. And I just kind of laughed at her and I said, impossible, Janet. And she goes, no, no, I've been to five World Youth Days and we're gonna go. She called me on the phone and we were speaking and, and she said, I'm sorry, I'm calling you. And I said, cause she had called me like five times that day. And she said, um, I promise this is the last time I'll call you. And I said, it's okay, you're not bothering me. And little did I know that it would be the last time that I ever talked to her. Um, the next morning she passed away suddenly. Janet always said that she wanted a front row to Poland. Well, Janet got the front row to Poland. And she's coming to Poland with us. She will be in our hearts, in our minds, and in our spirits. And she will be in Poland, but Janet now has the front row seat. I think the, the kids that are going to be going on this trip are going to experience something they've never experienced before, the opportunity to be with uh, youth their age from all over the world. And they will have grown so much in their faith and their love for Christ and will be able to, to share that message with the congregation. And I know that even though Everyone here is not going on the pilgrimage. You'll be with them in spirit. And, and they're sacrificing right now in preparation for this trip with all the efforts they've been doing to raise funds. So we're all a part of this together. We're one church, but each one of us will be touched in a special way. And, and really, it becomes a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for all of us because we all gain from it. Who knows what God has in store? We're going to get to have memories and we're going to get to have more experiences in our faith, but then we're going to bring back stuff for y'all to learn and for y'all to be further in y'all's faith. I'm going to be so honored to be able to experience World Youth Day with not only my church and my family, um, which is all go they're all going, but also the Holy Father. We're going to be praying for y'all too, so you're going to gain a lot of prayers. Hearing him will help me on my journey. I wanna, I wanna get stronger with Christ, you know, and just have a stronger relationship with him. Because when we went on a mission trip, I felt like I wanted to get more involved into the church and do this. I think it's gonna be a really good chance to farther my relationship with God and my journey as a Catholic. And um, when I was younger, a different uh, high school group had gone. And when they came back, they were so excited about their faith. And they really, like, they really spread it around with everybody. And I'm hoping to do the same thing and make people more excited about their faith. By going there, seeing the Pope, and having all the interactions with all the different people from different countries, but we're all still sharing 
the same faith. I think that's going to be really cool. Our one goal is to grow bigger and more in our faith so that we can learn more about God and share it with all of you guys when we get back. It's going to be a big journey, but I'm ready. My parents always told me it's better to give than to receive. And so it would be great to get help for this mission that we're going on because God teaches us, not only our parents, but God teaches us to give to people in need and to help others around us. And in return, we will be gifted. If you trust me and you help me go to Poland, then I will take in as much as I can to come to the church and share all the memories and the stories and the wonderful times that I had and share it with my brothers and sisters at the church. Especially helping people like that is less fortunate. It's a good feeling because you know that you help somebody and they, you know, in return, they're gonna look up and be like, well, those are good people. And when we come back, we have so much to share with the community and everybody and it's, so it's not really just us going personally, it's the whole community and church going. Help us reach our goal. We have lots of prayers for you. So helping us is one of the best investments that y'all can do. Uh, it is a true honor that you guys would accept us to go for you. Not only to take us and help us further our education, but that we can bring it back and share it with all of you. We're gonna be able to bring stuff back for y'all to learn and to get further in y'all's faith, and then y'all get to share that with the rest of the community. As We are the future of your church, and one day it's gonna be all handed down to us and we need to step up and be responsible and grow more in our faith and just help our community with everything that we can do and just be faithful in it. We are the future of your church.